Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going uh, to present our paper, uh, Data Processing Method for Gini Coefficient uh, Application in Assessing the Centralization within the Bitcoin Lightning Network. So initially, Lightning Network has emerged as a second layer blockchain solution. It was introduced as a faster, cheaper, and more scalable alternative for Bitcoin transactions. But since it was introduced, a potential centralization uh, concerns have surfaced, and current distribution, current distribution might indicate a trend towards centralization. Uh, to quantify this, the, the Gini coefficient, a measure of inequality, can be used by analyzing the distribution uh, of channel capacity among nodes. The aim is to establish a data processing method for applying the Gini coefficient to assess the centralization of the Lightning Network. We have raised uh, four objectives to achieve this goal. So first, uh, to extract data from both uh, blockchain la layers and uh, gather gather relevant dat data sets on node activity and capacity, then to categorize this data and link uh, the, da the data sets from different sources, and third, to propose a data processing method and scheme for applying the Gini coefficient, and lastly, implement and conduct experimental calculations and provide visual results. Uh, the Gini coefficient was first introduced in 1921 as an income and wealth distribution, uh, a measure to, to measure income and wealth distribution, but since it was introduced, it was used in many, many different fields, uh, such as physics, agricultural, economics, medicine, blockchain networks, and many others. It was also applied in Lightning Network Centralization Research. The problem with that is that other research doesn't provide a detailed uh, instructions on data collection across layer 1 and layer 2. And that also includes data linking, storing, and choosing variables for the calculations. So before delving into our method, we first analyze existing research uh, on using Gini coefficient uh, for the Lightning Network centralization. So all studies have shown high coefficient values across different uh, Lightning Network aspects. Uh, values are ranging from 76% uh, for number of channels and nodes to 95% for node capacity. It is also important to mention that all research, um, every research also uh, noted that Gini coefficient has grown and is growing gradually over the years. And let's get into our experimental setup. So the first step was data processing into which more details I will go in the next slide. Uh, the data set used for the calculation contains almost 500,000 channel announcement records and 45 and a half uh, thousand nodes. Uh, it is also important to note that a node is considered existing if at least one of the nodes has open channels. Um, we chose to analyze the Lightning Network within uh, six timestamps, uh, starting with March 2018, when the year when Lightning Network was first introduced and ending with 2023. And lastly, we calculated Gini coefficient and Lorentz curve of Lightning Network entities and nodes uh, on weighted degree centrality aspect, which means that we not also consider the number of entities and nodes, but also their capacity. Um, data processing method is visualized in this slide. So the first step is to gather data from the second layer. Uh, of the blockchain. So it was gathered uh, using the Lightning Network Research Community, which provided us with channel announcement messages and node announcement messages. Then the second step was to uh, gather data from the first layer from the Bitcoin blockchain, uh, because we also needed data about each transaction, and that includes uh, timestamps, transaction amounts, and channel status. It was extracted using my node BTC operational system. Then all the collected data was linked uh, and stored in three uh, separate database tables. Uh, the database tables were joined together by the channel ID, which consists of a block height, uh, transaction index, and transaction output index. 
After all the tables were joined, it allowed us to see the full picture of the Lightning Network and continue with our calculations. Now, moving to the results. Uh, first, we have Lorentz curves and Gini coefficients. So, as you can see, Lorentz curve is progressively moving further away from the perfect equality line, which means that uh, inequality between Lightning Network entities is growing. It is also important to note that the, uh, the area between perfect equality line and Lorentz curves is a Gini coefficient, and as you can see, it is also growing over time. So these results uh, indicate us a great inequality and suggest that there is a concentration of channel capacity among specific groups of nodes. On this next slide, you can see Gini coefficient uh, values of Lightning Network nodes and entities. So the average value for nodes is 92%, and uh, for the entities, it is a bit lower. It's 89%, and uh, experimental results uh, of proposed method agree with agrees with the existing research. Uh, as I mentioned previously, um, other studies uh, had values of Gini of between 76 and 95 percent, uh, depending which timestamps were used and what was the method of calculations. So these results confirms that a uh, data processing method in this paper is reliable and can be used for the future studies when assessing the uh, centralization within the Lightning Network and utilizing Gini coefficient for this task. And now let's finish with the conclusion. So first, uh, data was successfully extracted from both layers and it provided us with a complete picture of the centralization analysis. Uh, then second, data was connected using a channel ID and linked channel data to the corresponding uh, blockchain transaction. And third, data processing method and scheme were proposed. Uh, and uh, centralization was assessed uh, by grouping nodes based on entities and nodes. And lastly, a uh, proposed method was validated uh, because calculations of Gini coefficient aligned with the prior research and proved the method to be reliable. So the experimental results showed us that a uh, Lightning Network node distribution is getting closer to centralization with each year. And it also gives us uh, opportunity for the future research as well. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.